Hello fellow photographers, Dan here. I want to talk about how you use Lightroom. One of the things that we have discovered by talking to a lot of different photographers is they spend a lot of time in Lightroom adjusting tone and color, the basic raw processing adjustments, the things you would see inside the basics pane in Lightroom. And they literally go from photo to photo on a job, making adjustments to things like white balance and exposure and shadows and highlights. That takes a crazy amount of time. As a matter of fact, if you had just a thousand photos from a wedding that you were going to correct and you spent 30 seconds on each, that's over eight hours just to correct the tone and the color on those if you were to do them one by one, taking that much time. So one of our big goals in creating Light Panel was to do that work for you automatically so that you could get good, predictable, basic corrections. And you do that right here inside of Light Panel on the Develop tab. Now I've grabbed a selection of photos from a wedding that are either a little overexposed or maybe a little underexposed or ones where the white balance might be a little bit off so that we can see how this works. I'm just going to arrow through these photos real quick so you can see a little over, a little under, a little blue, a little over, a little warm, a little cool, a little warm example. All of these photos will require some manual adjustments. No matter how methodical you are in the camera, this will happen from time to time. All right, so let's go back to that very first photo. And here in light panel, I'm simply going to turn on the auto tone option. And you can see just in doing that, it's already fixed that exposure issue. It's brought all the detail back into the skin. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. So there's before and after. And if we look here in the basics pane inside of Lightroom, you'll see the adjustments that it's made. And if I wanted to fine tune these, I could grab the slider and I could move it back and forth to control how strong that adjustment is. I'm just going to leave it at 100%, kind of the default settings. And you can do the same thing for correcting white balance to remove a color cast as well. Just simply turn the white balance on and you can use the slider to control how strong the adjustment is. I'm going to leave it at about 50 for this. Now I want to use these exact same adjustments, not the actual slider positions that light panel has determined because that wouldn't be the same for every photo. What I really want it to do is to look at each of these different photos and do the same kind of work. I want it to look at each photo, understand what's wrong with it, and make the corrections for me automatically. So to do that, I simply click down here on Sync to Selected. That means it's going to apply 100% of the tone correction and 50% of the white balance correction to these photos automatically. Now let's go look at what it did. Now in this photo that was a little dark and cool, it automatically brightened it, brought in some contrast, and fixed the color. Here's one that was a little on the cool side and a little flat, where it was able to correct that. It's a subtle but important change. Or here, the original was very bright on the edge of losing detail and was able to bring back the detail and fix the white balance. Here's another great example. Here's the original out of the camera, warm and barely holding detail in the highlights, or after the color is correct and the highlight details back. Or one of those difficult situations with available light inside of a church, there's the original versus the after adjustment. And last but not least, here's the original out of the camera, and after light panel corrected the white balance and the tone. So there you go. Gone are the days of having to manually go through from photo to photo, manually adjusting all of your settings. Now with Light Panel, it can intelligently adjust every photo for you automatically using the smart AI models that we have created specifically for portrait wedding photographers. There you go. Thanks for watching.